geo meaning for earth, and cache as in C-A-C-H-E meaning a box or a little treasure. There's 2.6 million in the world. And an estimated 6 million users who've downloaded the geocaching app, all in hopes of finding one of those 2.6 million treasures worldwide, including WSSCs at the Supply Lane Recreation Area. Geocaching is kind of a scavenger hunt, a little treasure hunt that you do outside. It can be fun to do as a whole day event, or hey, I just happen to be out and I look at my app and there's a cache somewhere around here, I'm gonna go find it. You use an app on your phone that will help direct you to compass points. Follow the compass and find a hidden treasure. I think it's down south. We're getting really close. I think I found something in here. Oh look, yeah, it's the geocache. We wanted to do geocaching at WSSC because we wanted people to get outside. So I think if we just go down this path. This is just another way to kind of combine their love for technology but also introduce them to the watershed. And once you get out, you see how beautiful it is. They tend to just like being out in nature. Most of these days, a lot of teens are inside, like on their phones, too focused on technology. But this is really a kind of technology that brings people to the outdoors and really encourages you to explore it. And it really helps with your navigation skills, which is vital in life. And you can do it with teamwork. So it can bring friends together. And yeah, I like it. Yay, girls win! Woo! <laughs> one for the girls, one for the boys. This was the only path that wasn't totally covered in ferns. Watershed. WSCC's Lucky Ducket Geocache Trail. Key codes and clues. Geocachers can navigate their way around the T. Howard Ducket Reservoir to find a series of six caches. We have them at our spots by Browns Bridge, Scotts Cove, Supley, and even the Supley Recreation Area. And it's a way for people to see what property WSSC owns and offers to the public to have fun with, and also just to get them out in nature. It was clever. It was hidden behind the rock, so it kept saying it was that way, that way. No one realized it was on the slope. They're all waterproof containers. WSSC intern Alicia Settle was instrumental in launching geocaching at WSSC. It's really addicting, really fast. Um, finding them is just kind of exciting, seeing what's in them. Pan the grease. We really wanted to use this as a learning opportunity as much as it's fun. Um, so in each of our caches, we have some information about WSSC and the things we do. One of the ones here at Suckley is on fat soils and grease, or fog. So we have a little pamphlet that explains to people not to throw grease down the drain, why you wouldn't do that. We even include our can the grease lids. You can take something, but then you have to leave something back in there. That's proper geocaching etiquette. You also sign the paper logbook inside the box and log your find in the app. We get emails when people find them, and there is a log online. And I found one log from a family that said, we learned all about fat soils and grease, and we had a little quiz on the way home. And the kids remembered all about fog, and they said, we're going to make sure we don't throw grease down the drain. Cash in and trash out. If you're going to cash something in, find the geocache. Make a difference around where you're finding it and take the trash out. I think if more people come and each one just picks up one piece of trash or tries to find something, it would be a lot better community for people who come after them. 